day one, Montreal. So basically, here's the gist. As I lick my fingers like that, just ate something. So, I'm too old to be fucking staying up all night just to catch a six o'clock flight. God, I am fucking tired. Never again. I am not young anymore, guys. I am not young anymore. I used to do this shit way too much when I was younger. In my 20s, stay up all night and I'm just good and dandy the next day. Hell, I'd be energized and shit. But now as in my 32, yes, I'm 32. I stay up all night, get no sleep. I am fucking tired as shit. I just got here too. Oh my God. Now I'm just waiting for my friend to come home from work because... No, not work. He's taking his mom to the doctor's appointment. And I was kind of getting tired of waiting in the airport, so I just got here. I'm just sitting here. Nothing else to do but vlogging while they're tired. As soon as I get in there, when he gets here, I'm going to crash on his bed. Not with him in it. Not, come on, guys. Not like that. Because it's still the daytime. Fuck. He, he's going to do some stuff. I'm just going to crash on his bed. And then for like two hours or three, and then at night, hang out before we do the butt fucking. Wait, what? Yes, before we do the butt fucking. And there's a police car driving by, it's giving me the shady eye. What, because I'm brown? This is Montreal, though. You never know. But yeah, I get to sleep on his futon like every year. I brought my own pillow because his pillows are not even pillows, they're just futon pillows, and they're not comfortable. So why not bring my pillow? I gotta clean that shit because it's dirty and shit. Because I took it on the plane, god damn it. I'm just tired. I'm just so tired. Anyways, enough. I'm just gonna keep on waiting here, drink some water. Anyways, take it easy, guys. Day one on to day two or whatever it is. I'm gonna do it in day one later on. Okay, bye. Day two, Montreal. Refreshed as a motherfucker. Although I did wake up at. 1 o'clock p.m., which is good because I was fucking tired. I was like, I'm fucking proud of myself. Why am I proud of myself? Because the last two years, every time I come here, I took me... I took a goddamn cab to go to IGA to get my grocery shop done. Where's IGA, you ask? Basically, three blocks away from my place. Not my place, my friend's place. I was that bad before until I got the new surgery and shit. Yes, surgery and that bullshit hold on one sec people walking through you know i gotta start talking more outside because like these people are french some of them don't speak english because it's montreal but whatever some do understand english but i gotta get used to this shit about speaking outside but yeah the surgery before i got my surgery i was a lazy fuck because i didn't want to do anything i don't know how the fuck i survived coming here the last three years basically now refresh and shit I'm gonna say, walking three blocks is not that far. Because I actually made it without using a cab. I'm saving some money this time. But holy fuck. I just noticed, walking three blocks, not that far. To me, it was far, because I was like fucking out of it the last three years. Yeah, I took a cab there. Man, I was way out of it. But thank God for this new pacemaker that makes me actually want to do shit. That's pretty much it for day two. Now, on to home. My groceries are getting delivered tomorrow because I can't fucking hold a lot of groceries because my more fans and shit because I can't lift anything over 20 pounds. Imagine a whole shitload of groceries. Yeah, not good for me. So I'm getting delivered that shit tomorrow. Anyways, I'm off to hang out. Later on, time to go home, rest for a while, go out later. Take it easy. This is day two. Bye. P.S. I noticed that it's... A lot of people are wearing jackets on a very warm day, and I'm from Edmonton. Apparently it's cold here, but uh, I'm coming from Edmonton where it's, we relish cold. It's not cold until it is fucking cold, because when it's cold, we wear our jackets. Here, people are already wearing jackets. It's just a win. These people, <laughs> they're not used to this shit, and they're looking at me like, what's wrong with me? Why aren't you wearing a jacket? Everywhere I'm walking, people are just looking at me like, they're wearing winter fucking jackets. Do you see any fucking snow here? Do you see anything? No. Sure, there's a win, but this ain't nothing. Quick movie review with 
the fuck's over here? We saw a man up last night with Simon Pegg and Lake Bell. What'd you think of it? Mm. It was okay. The ending was bullshit. That's all. Here I go again on my own. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. I made up my mind. I made up my mind. He fucked that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> when the beat drops right now, right now. <laughs> Like that, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, you. God damn. That was good. Dominic, go balls deep. Balls deep. I'll just go. Oh, just, no, just a tip, just a tip. Then will he go in balls deep? Huh? Will he go in balls deep? Sure. <laughs> like that way. You know something, brother? Hulk Hogan has nothing to compare to this guy, brother. His 20 inch pythons. This guy has 21 inch python. <laughs> 21. Because Hulk Hogan has a 20 inch python. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a video. <laughs> brother, 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 brother. Guys, I was like this. George, afraid of heights. This bird gives no fucks. He's not afraid of me. It's because I sit down on a bench. He thinks I have food. He's like coming back and forth. Just looking at me. He's like, bro, you have food? It's like, no, I'll be back. You have food now? No? No, I don't have food yet. And he walks off. He sees that I don't have food, so he just walks off. And like old boss, he goes back to his hideout. Yeah. If I find it complete bullshit that I can't find one single barber shop that's open in this place. What's up with this place? I go to one that's close by here. Apparently they're closed 24-7. Since I can't read French, I'm assuming they got bought out or something. But yet the sign is out there and it says a Vic something. So I'm guessing they're no longer in business. So I'm going, I go out at night, do my regular walking. Don't mind me, it's all good shit. It's Montreal, there's a bunch of beautiful women here, so yeah, looking all the time. So yeah, I go for my nightly walk. I find a barbershop way three blocks down and they're closed. So yeah, I go today to see if they're open. They're not even open. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. What the hell is this? It's backwards land up in here. <laughs> what the hell? But yeah, it's bad enough that like everything's in French here and I don't know what the hell it is going on. So I'm assuming shit. Oh yeah, I went to this Chinese place last night. I don't know how it is and the rest of the world but when I say ch ch chicken chow mein back where I'm from it's actually noodles but here chicken chow mein is some kind of like thick ass thing it looks like Shanghai noodles but it's not really Shanghai noodles there's little things here and there not even looking like noodles it's weird and like the waitress looks at me is like hey sir is something wrong I was like yeah this ain't it ch chow mein she was like yeah it's chow mein I was like oh I'm sorry I'm not from around here so I explained to her and then she goes like, oh, you mean Cantonese noodles? Is that what you call it here? Fine. Because Cantonese noodles over where I am is just disgusting. But here it's chow mein. 
I don't know what it is in Edmonton, with Cantonese noodles that they're not that good, but they're not that good. I don't know how it is in the other side of the world. And I just realized my face is like that. So it's probably bothering some of you. So I should do this. I'm so glad you used to doing that shit. But yeah, anytime I come here, I gotta say Cantonese. I gotta remember that shit. I do gotta remember that shit. But anyways, I'm still looking for a goddamn barbershop. Apparently there's one in the mall, this little strip mall here. I can't find it. I'm asking people like, Half of these people are Quebecois and they don't even answer you if you speak English. Like, Excuse me, do you know where the barbershop is? And they look at you up and down like they're better than you. I'm trying to find someone that speaks English. But you think it'd be normal because it's Montreal, but no, people would want to speak French. Fuck. <laughs> but there are some nice people here and they're telling me, it's like, oh, go there, blah, 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 blah. And I don't even know where that is. So still, I'm looking. I'm going to just chill in here on someone's patio. I haven't been kicked out yet, which is good. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, the search continues. Take it easy, human donation. Bye. I seriously don't know what the fuck I'm watching here. What are you making me watch? Some kind of alien music. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Ooga, 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 chuck. I don't know what to say to this shit. Oh my god. It's about that fucking time to watch Captain America Civil War. It's about that fucking time. It's going to be cool. Can't wait for it. Let's do this. Civil War. God damn. God fucking damn. It was brought, guys. It was motherfucking brought. Civil War is amazing. Amazing balls. That's all I gotta say. Review coming up next. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know anymore. Bye. System in the aisle to the nearest emergency exit. S'il fallait évacuer l'avion, laissez vos effets personnels. Suivez l'éclairage au sol dans le couloir jusqu'à l'issue de secours la plus proche. There are four exits located on each side of the aircraft. All of these are indicated by an exit.